Hey everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video I will show you how you can easily add weather to your Elementor website. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just scroll down below to the description and click on the link. When you will have it, you will get on this site called L-Site. L-Site is an amazing company with a lot of widgets and one of the widgets they make is weather. So let's click sign up for free. Now we want to sign with the Facebook, Gmail or normal mail. It's completely up to you. When you have it, let's click login. You're going to be here in applications and in search, you want to write weather and just click on weather. Yes. And you're going to see here, you can have like daily forecast, daily forecast. Let's continue with the template. Now you're going to see like location here. You can change it from Sydney, Sydney to something else. I don't know, Slovakia. That's where I'm from and change it to Celsius and appearance, changing the color. I'm going to leave it like it is. Let's click save for now. Right when you have it, you need to choose a plan. If you're starting out with your website, go with a light version. But if you're gonna have 5,000 or 50,000 or up to five minute views, go with a light, basic or pro version. Let's copy the code now. And right now what you want to do is just be in Elementor, search widget, write your HTML, take it and paste it. Paste the code here update to the website and let's preview the change and voila here you got it really simple really easy and this is how we actually do it so that's pretty much it i'm just messing with it right now What can I do about it? I know how this is going to look like. Yeah, it's right here. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down below in the comments. Also, what I recommend, check all the applications here. If you're going to choose like more like Facebook feed, Facebook chat, I don't know, Pinterest feed and any others, this can be definitely useful for you. So also what i recommend if you have any problems with applying the html code write to lsat support and they will really help they will help you what you can do so thank you see ya and goodbye